Today I'm going back to the topic of grocery store wines, except today I have a red wine from the United States and I have one from Sicily. I'm gonna put them head to head. I'm gonna find out which one is better. So I've done a video about the topic of grocery store red wines before, but those were the cheapest ones that I could find locally here in Sicily. And I wanted to do a, something a little bit different today. I wanted to get an American one involved here. So I went to the store on the military base here. We get the American products there. So that's how I was able to get this one here. This is the Apothic Inferno. It's going up against the Sidara from Donna Fugata. They're both, they're similar. They're, they're similar price points, 10 or $12. You find them at the grocery store, readily available. They're both red blends, little bit different. This one I think is Zinfandel, Cabernet Sauvignon, and some other ones. This one's Nero Davila, Cabernet Sauvignon, and some other ones. But I think it's a, a fair comparison. But what we got going on here with this one is the aged in whiskey barrels for 60 days. Now, I'm not gonna get into all the things that are said about the Apothic wines. Uh, I just wanna, I wanna taste it for myself. Red blend, bold dark fruit, maple spice, 15.9% alcohol. That's pretty high. This one is 13% alcohol. So let's just get into it. We'll get these poured here and see what the difference is. You know, these are the grocery store wines. What is the United States choosing to do? What is Sicily choosing to do? We'll see. As for the looks, they both look pretty similar. And to be honest, I don't really care about the looks. That's not really, it's not that big of a difference. Pretty dark, a little bit purpley, pretty dark purple is what I would say. Let's go ahead and smell them. Smell the Sidara. Smells like black fruit, blackberries, maybe a little bit of spiciness. We'll smell the Apothic. Spicy, what did they say? They said maple and spice. Yeah, I think it smells kind of like vanilla maybe smells like it's gonna be kind of sweet. So we'll go ahead and give the Sidara a taste. Blackberry, pretty much just like it smells, I think. Blackberry and some peppery spiciness, which I think comes from the Nero Davila. Great. On to the Apothic. Now this, the Apothic, readily available in the United States. Pretty popular, I think. There's a lot of people out there who have had this and they say it's really good, but I've also seen some pretty bad reviews about it, which is why I wanted to do this. And this whole whiskey barrel aging thing, not quite sure what's gonna happen with that. So we'll give it a go and we'll see. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you guys. So I had tasted these before the video. I, did, I didn't trust myself to do it live. I should have, but I tasted them before. And when I tasted the Apothic, I gave a little like shudder, a little shiver. You know, like when you take a shot and it's like, I don't know if it's the high alcohol, this definitely has it, or if it's the bad taste. But the Apothic, it tastes like shit. So, I don't know, it's, I'm very surprised that so many people say that they like it and it almost makes me sad because I think it's a little bit of a problem and I think it's all to do with these marketing schemes, you know, it's these gimmicks, the whiskey barrels, people think, ooh, whiskey, aged in whiskey barrels, it's like, why, you don't even need that, why do you even need that, that's not even a thing. But maybe people do like it, I don't know. Or maybe it's kind of like a herd mentality. That could also be the issue because the power of suggestion, you get this many people, that it's very popular. So many people saying that they like it and you think, oh, they must be right. There's that many people saying that it's good. 
Or maybe what I really think is the problem, people just don't know. Maybe this is their first experience with wine. It's very easy to get this in the United States. It's pretty cheap. So many people say they like it. So you pick one of these up and you think, oh, okay. Yeah. But maybe you don't know. You've never had anything else. And I think people would find if they would try other things that there's more to wine than this. I wouldn't even call this wine. It tastes like Coke. It tastes vanilla syrup. It tastes like you're drinking syrup. And I don't even know how people could drink that. It tastes absolutely disgusting. So hands down, winner today goes to the Donna Fugata, to the Sidara. The Apothic, more so than the consumers buying this, the producer should be embarrassed. They should be ashamed. But I think it all comes down to greed, which is sad. They just want to make a quick buck. And I'm sure they do. They probably sell hundreds of thousands of bottles of these. So they're making their money and they're pouring it down the consumer's throat because maybe they don't know any better and I think it's sad. But of course I want to hear from you guys, especially if you have had the Apothic Inferno before. You gotta write to me, you gotta leave me a comment and tell me what you think of the Inferno. Maybe you do like it and if you can say that you do like the sweet taste and this hot, ridiculously high alcohol content, then good for you. You can say that you 100% know that you like that. Good for you. But other people, let me know what you think of the Apothic brand in general. Uh, they have other ones besides this Inferno. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments. But for now, cheers.